David Broza, what does he represent in Israel? Uh, David Broza is basically one of the legendary artists in Israel. He has a lot of credibility as a, um, as a singer songwriter. And, um, but uh, a lot of people, unfortunately, maybe you know, perceive him as uh, being naive, as being, uh, you know, because he's basically a dreamer, he's an artist. Um, but yet and still, the guy is very, very, uh, he's in the consensus of the Israeli public as an artist. How do you mean in, in the consensus? What, how do you mean in the consensus? In the consensus is uh, someone that uh, speaks to uh, all the layers of society because he's so, so popular and so, uh, you know, uh, very talented. You know, people recognize his uh, talent. What do you think of him coming uh, overseas to show movies that uh, that promote uh, uh, peace, to, uh, that promote a Palestinian nationalism, really? Uh, and, and you're involved in this subject yourself, aren't you? Yes, uh, I have basically uh, Israeli-Palestinian organization. Uh, I work with a lot of Palestinians. Uh, my other half is Palestinian as well in the organization. I think that when David uh, comes you know, to promote an idea of uh, freedom for Palestinians from an Israeli. It's a very important, but I think it's more important to emphasize the idea not of separation and dividing the land, but of unity. And I think that uh, what I heard today from David was this idea, unity, uh, le uh, living together, not the paradigm of uh, we live here, they live there. Um, I support uh, Palestinian nationalism unless it uh, comes and contradicts my existence. Um, and I think that uh, for every problem there's a solution and I salute uh, for David for this. I salute. What's your NGO? Excuse me? What is your, N your NGO in Israel? My NGO name is uh, The Home, uh, Habayt uh, Al Bayt. It's basically an NGO that uh, supports uh, sharing the whole land, doing a uh, uh, social activities together, humane activities together, uh, also activities based on arts. Um, but in the over end, we believe in uh, making a reality where both people can uh, recognize the humanity of the other, of the settler, of the Palestinian refugee, of the Israeli, of the anywhere in the land. How much of that do you feel coming from the Arabs? Well, I think uh, it's a very good question because uh, there's no freedom of speech in the Arab society, unfortunately. And I think that uh, one, what a Palestinian can say to me in four, in uh, you know, in face to face, he can't say it publicly, unfortunately. This is also, also something we need to promote. Um, I think that as a society, the Palestinian society, because of the desperation. Um, it can be, you know, it's not ready yet for this idea because there's a lot of bitterness. But I think uh, the only solution is, uh, you know, finding the, the path to, you know, uh, I'm, I'm not saying one state, but I'm saying finding a path to unite and to share the land. And uh, recognize also, very important, the rights of the Jews in everywhere in Israel, from the river to the sea, as well as Palestinians. How strong is, the, is any movement on the Arab side to promote peace? An Arab initiative, not a Jewish initiative. How strong are those initiatives? I don't think there's a, a lot of initiatives from the Arab side for genuine peace. Because uh, what I hear from them, what I feel from them, from uh, uh, most, I won't say all, I won't make inclusions, but most of the Palestinian or Arab initiatives I heard were very much uh, one-sided, demanding basically to punish Israelis and to uh, not recognize the real narrative of the Israelis. Therefore, they don't talk to Israelis and therefore they're being rejected from the Israelis. Um, and I think that what uh, is important to do is to get as many people that uh, had enough from this whole situation, make them work together for the same goal.